Once we bring the basket out of the rinse tank, we're going to uh, use our compressed air to blow off the basket either inside the tank or outside on the drain back. And what we're doing is we're removing any residual or any heavy water so that when we roll our basket into the tunnel dryer, we're using the tunnel dryer to do our final dry. Tunnel dryer uses the same exact controls we had before. Temperature control is typically set at 140. In the winter, I might go to 150. That does not mean that the entire cabinet gets to 140 or to 150 degrees. What that means is where the airflow into the tank exits into the tank, we're measuring the air temperature there. By the time we, the air travels through the back side of the tunnel dryer and into the recirculation vent, the, the air temperature in here is going to be somewhere around 120 degrees. If we were much hotter than that, we might actually damage some of the, uh, it's like a wicker basket to get too hot. But we have to measure, we have to measure somewhere, so we take our measuring point right at the, uh, right at the uh, exit. The only thing different about this timer and the timer on the ultrasonic is this is set for hours and minutes, whereas our, whereas our uh, ultrasonic unit is set for minutes and seconds. I would typically set this to operate for four hours, knowing that my morning shift is going to be 7 to 11, 8 to 12, then there's a lunch break, they come back, and we, we, we turn on the unit again. So when I first turn the unit on, what you'll notice, if you can hear this, is a fan will come on, and that's basically a safety fan, so that after running my, ultrason or my heating cycle for several hours, these heating elements can get pretty hot. So if I were to kill power to the, to the heaters, the fan stays on for a minute, and what that's doing is it's just blowing hot or blowing air over the heating elements to cool them down so that they don't sit there and overbake. So it's basically a, a backup safety. From there, the basket exits the tunnel dryer, and then my repacking person will wrap.